Hey everyone, this is Nate, and we are back here with another movie vlog. And we are actually starting out the first of the character series of movie vlogs. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go through a bunch of characters who we would like to see in the Deadpool uh, movie and who we think should possibly play them. Uh, today I have a very special guest. It is Matt Hammock from the uh, Mercs and Mutants podcast. Uh, it's the only full Deadpool podcast out there, correct? Yeah, the one and only Deadpool the, podcast. Yeah, and it's just so happens to be the only podcast I listen to. I should listen to more podcasts, but I just, I don't know. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't know if there was others, but I know yours is awesome. Uh, of course, you guys, make sure to go check it out. You can see it at www.mercsandmutants.info. Um, go ahead and plug it a little bit, Matt. Well, uh, for those of you who don't already listen, because Nate told you to listen to, like, five different PSAs and vlogs, you little bastards. <laughs> what you do is just simply go and check out the show. We're on iTunes. You can download it. It's free, and it's just me, my co-host, when they appear, Tyler Crone, uh, Brian D. Train, who is an official honored contributor. And, of course, we have Nate here. And we just do the usual BS about Deadpool, review the recent comics, and... Uh, we even do some flashback episodes, like we're doing a flashback to the first uh, arc of Cable and Deadpool coming up, oh, and some sweet. more fun things. Yeah, so awesome, awesome. Yeah, go check it out. Cause it's really cool. I I always have a fun time anytime I go on there and do it. I know Mike Lucic gets on there. Uh, Tala Silver gets on there. I know we're planning on getting a. Um, yeah, you're you're trying to get Ben from the Deadpool Bugle on there, right? Yes. That that that, that well, that's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to that one. So uh, it's a great place. Most of the uh, Deadpool core YouTube basically goes on there quite often. I guess somehow we got dubbed that by uh, some of Mike Lucic's fans. So yeah, we're we're always over on on Matt's podcast. So make sure you guys go over there and check it out. Um, so I guess let, let, let's go ahead and jump into this. Speaking of uh, Cable and Deadpool, that was actually one of the one of the bigger requested people from uh, from that original vlog that I did that people requested. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, there'll be a link on the screen right now. Originally, I did a vlog first announcing what, uh, that there was going to be a Deadpool spinoff. And I told you guys, go there, recommend who you want to see in the movie and who you want to play those people in the movie because we're going to base our things off that. So, very first one that we're doing, of course, is Cable because we had a lot of people saying Cable should be in the movie. Of course, we had quite a few people when they did say Cable should be in the movie who did instantly go, no, don't put Cable in the movie. Uh, so, what we're going to go ahead and do here today... Uh, is where we are going to discuss whether or not Cable should be in the movie and who should play him. Uh, it's going to be our goal, I guess, to try to keep this under the 10 minute 59 second mark, uh, but no promises on that. And actually, that's, that's going to be a question for you guys here at the end. Make sure to leave in the comics. Do you guys like the vlogs at all in general? And if so, do you guys like the longer six-parter ones that I've been known to do just because I ramble and talk a lot? Or do you guys want me to try to keep it down to one or two video? Go ahead and let me know in the comments, as well as let me know who you guys think you uh, who should play Cable or whether or not Cable should even be in the video. Uh, sorry, in the movie, not video. Uh, so I guess let's go ahead and start out. Uh, Matt, what's your stance? Should Cable be in the first Deadpool movie? Well, being the host of the Cable and Deadpool podcast, it'd be great for the ratings, but no, I don't think Cable should actually be in the movie. I understand why everybody says that. I mean, you know, he was the main character in the book that Deadpool appeared in. They had this huge, long-standing, back-and-forth relationship, bromance, all these other things. But, you know, it, there's a lot of different things that kind of push me in the direction of saying, no, just a yeah. cameo with that. Well, yeah, that, that was something people jumped on me on there. Like, Nate, how come you didn't mention Cable in that video? You didn't say him at all. And it was, I didn't even think about it. Because I, I know, I guess, a lot of people jumped on during the Cable and Deadpool run. That was their first experience getting into Deadpool and everything. Uh, so they were used to seeing the two of them together doing stuff. I'm still, I was still remembering from the original series where it was just, yeah, they would once in a while run into each other and usually shoot at each other or maybe exchange a joke here and there, but they weren't really like the best buddies. It was the Cable Deadpool series that kind of buddied them up. So it, it still in my mind, I, I still see Deadpool as this solid character all by himself who doesn't need Cable. And I think a lot of people when they were suggesting were like, no, no, he has to be in there. Um, I, I'm on the same side as you though. Which, I'm sorry guys, I really should have done something here to diversify so we get a counter-argument thing. But yeah, no, I agree. I don't think Cable should be in this movie uh, for a few reasons. First and foremost, he has... It, 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 he won't work in a movie because he's so convoluted on how he works out. You know, being yeah. being uh, 
Cyclops's son and Madeline Pryor's son, and then somehow being sent to the future to come back without a pocket. It's just going to be all over the place. He would be a really hard character to get in there, and then even harder to explain why he's friends with Deadpool. Um, I've had a few people send me a ways that it could work and some interesting stuff. A lot of them, though, involve changing the character completely. Uh, there was some suggestions, you know, make him just some mercenary and with Weapon X, and later we find out he's this time traveler. Uh, but I'm like, hey, all right, they, they didn't even suggest a time traveler, just a, he's some guy with Weapon X. I was like, well, that's, that's kind of changed the character a little too much, and the last thing we want to do is Barack a pool cable. No, 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 no. See, the one I always think of when, because that's exactly it. He's the son of Scott Summers and a clone of Jean Grey. Yeah. And as we know, when Fox makes a movie, they always think about the general public and what they'll accept. And I don't think they're really going to go for the dead guy and the clone of the dead chick had a kid who yeah. never appeared in the movie. So I always think of maybe they'll go the whole, ooh, it's a clone of Cyclops from the future route. And then I yeah. say, God, no, please, yeah. stab me now. He, he but, is so hard to do. He would be so hard to get him into a movie and explain it as a regular role. I, I'd say, though, I'd be fine with a short cameo, like no more than a minute. Uh, the hard part, though, would be hard to do it without them coming off as gay. I think. True. A, 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 a cameo with Cable in there without it being gay. Uh, but, you know, Ryan Reynolds has said, too, I think that was the other reason a lot of people recommended it, is Ryan Reynolds says he's also a big Cable fan. He would love to find a way to get Cable in there. Um, I just don't see how they could do it. I, I just don't think how it could work other than a small cameo. Well, you know what? I, let's first off, Ryan Reynolds, what a great guy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he does everything to try to keep us from killing the people he worked for. He wants that paycheck very, very much. Like I say, I keep I keep expecting to him be a producer of the thing. Oh, he'll he'll end up being it. Yeah. Watch, because every week it's oh yeah, or every time there's news. I can't say every week, not anymore. But you know, every time there's news, oh yeah, we're we're doing this. You know, I'm such a great fan. You guys know I'm a fan, right? You know I'm a fan, right? Come yeah. on, d don't give up on the movie yet. Come on, there's there's a little hope. Oh, there there, there was uh, some posting I was reading too, where it was like, and Ryan Reynolds is out there trying to make sure he's he's keeping the new writers honest. For those of you guys who haven't seen the last vlog, uh, the writers have been in, announced for the movie. It's Rhett Reese and oh, his friend I can't remember their names. Uh, the guys who wrote Zombieland, uh, so they're going to be doing it. Awesome movie. So I don't know. As cool as much as I like Cable, uh, though I think his character is actually fairly useless, him and Bishop. But that's a, a different <laughs> discussion for my other chance. Bishop's champ. a dick. Oh, oh he used to be my favorite X-Men, too, before he became the bad guy. And and it's not like wrestling where, like, you know, CM Punk becomes a heel, but you can still really like CM Punk because he's a badass. You know, they're like, no, they become the badass here, or the bad guy here, and you don't like him. But, uh, I, I don't know. I find Time Travelers useless in general. But, like I said, I've, I've actually got a, a video I'm getting ready to post on my other channel, my vlog channel, about that that I did with uh with Eric. Wow, okay, so we're looking already at three minutes left here. Do we want to go ahead and just start going through the characters? Or we want to debate a little bit more, and we'll make this a two-part and do characters. You know what? I, I think we want to hit the characters, who, or the actors. The actors, actors, thank you. All right, so, of course, we went through a few people that suggested stuff. We're going to go through them kind of briefly here, just people who are suggested uh, to play, who, who would be cool if they played Cable. Uh, first one, and I actually did, went from most recent to oldest, someone suggested Harrison Ford. No. Yeah. No, too no, no, no. Harrison is too old, and... I don't want to see him break a hip. Yeah, and not built enough either. He he, he can't bulk up enough to do it. Oh, there was another one someone left off. Someone suggested, oh, before I look, forget this. Yeah, I just don't think you can see it, uh, see him doing it. Next one someone recommended was uh, Gerard Butler, who was, you know, from 300. I can, see, I can see him doing it. He he actually can put off the accent sometimes when he has to. Yeah. Kind of. I don't know. But, what what was the movie he – there was some movie he did with the, the girl from uh, – not Katie Heigl, girl from uh, uh, whatever the fucker show is. Uh, and I don't know, I kept hearing his accent coming through constantly. I was like, why not just have made him Australian or Scottish, wherever his accent is. He's Scottish, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, he's Scottish. Yeah, they should have just kept his accent for it. It's not like he has to be an American. <laughs> you know, the other thing is that, how tall is he? Because that's the one thing that Cable is always supposed to, he's like this six foot eight giant dude half the time. And I think, times, you know. I think Gerard Butler is pretty pretty tall. At least he's average size, average to average to tall. Yeah, that'd be another reason not for Harrison Ford. But uh, yeah, yeah, you'd have to gray up his hair, but yeah, he'd be okay. Um, here was another one that someone just suggested to me in passing that I thought was pretty cool was uh, Russell Crowe. 
Russell Crowe, yes, I could. I could see Russell Crowe. God, I was just watching Gladiator the other day, too. What yeah. a great fucking movie. I don't, um, I don't think he would ever do a comic book movie, though. It seems like he'd be above that. <laughs> he'd probably punch you for suggesting it. Yeah, no he'd shit. <laughs> but I, I, I think he, he fits the body type for it, though, and he's got the look. He's got the look, he, and he can pull off the, the badass guy with a, a reason to kill whole thing going. Yeah, like you can already see like an explosion happening from behind him as he's walking away holding giant Rob Liefeld guns. <laughs> Pouches everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, stupid computer.